is AVP60685 with another video for all of you. Uh, I thought I would give you an update on what's been happening with me lately. Uh, lately, I've been working at various daycares, and so I don't get to make many videos on what I'm up to. Uh, I've been playing some video games on my computer only, since I don't have a Wii, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, I have to make do with my computer. Um, I just recently pl beat one particular game. Well, actually two. What are these two games? The first game is this one right here. Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes. This is the latest Nancy Drew game. It came out on the 18th of October, and I pre-ordered this game. This is the first time I've pre-ordered one of the games from the website. So, I played it, and I successfully was able to catch the culprit, and Nancy successfully solved another case, thanks to my help. The other game that I recently beat was Back to the Future, the PC version of the game. And that was an interesting game. If you've ever seen the movies, this is basically a spin-off of what happened six months later after Doc has returned from rescuing Clara and Marty has destroyed the time machine and Doc creates a new time machine and basically the game revolves around Marty having to rescue Doc believing that Doc is in danger and so he does a lot of investigating and it turns out that Doc really wasn't in danger. Doc was basically doing some investigating of his own about Marty's past, about his grandmother, which is explained in the game. I don't want to give too much away if you've never played the game. But basically, it's a lot of twists and turns. They go back in time, back and forth to the 1930s, to 1931 specifically, during the Prohibition years. And so that's kind of interesting. Um... I'm also playing The Sims 2, the various expansion packs. I have most of them. I have them all in this basket here. Most of them, that is. They're in this basket here with my other games, including the Nancy Drew game I told you about. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this game if you haven't played it. Basically, the game starts out, you're Nancy, like you normally are. But this one, she's following a clues challenge. And basically, the game starts from there, and the town hall where Nancy goes for this clues challenge, it basically, the town hall set, gets set on fire. And Nancy is accused of the crime, and she, Bess, George, and her boyfriend, Ned, have to work together in order to prove Nancy's innocence so she can be released from jail. Um... Most of the puzzles in that game were fairly simple. Some of them were kind of self-explanatory, how to do it. Uh, let me see what else. The Back to the Future game, the puzzles were a little easier in some ways, but in some ways they had a lot of steps. I mean, I have a printout of what to do for the walkthrough because I was stuck on certain parts of it. And so I started playing it, and I noticed the first time I played it, that if you left out one step, you had to start back all the way back to the beginning. And that was kind of hard because there was no ch way to really go back and still continue with the progress of the game without that missing step. So when that happened, I had to restart the game, play it again. Uh, the game took me about three tries to finally finish it completed. Um, it took me about four regular days of non-work to play the game, beat it successfully, and then win. Um, from the way the game played when I played it, it looks like there might be a sequel. I don't know. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, also, I've played the Charlene Davis, I believe that's what her name is, I'm not 100% sure, but it's called 
dying for daylight. Basically, in that game, you're playing as a vampire who's looking for this legendary sun potion. And you're trying to prove that it exists, and you're trying to solve these mini puzzles along the way in order to find the sun potion. Um, also, I played Mystery Legends, The Phantom of the Opera, The Collector's Edition. Basically, the game involves the Phantom of the Opera and also Christine and her daughter in it. Basically, if you've seen the musical version by Andrew Lloyd Webber, you can sort of understand who Christine is, the Phantom is, and also her daughter is a new character. Basically, what happens is that the mayor, the Phantom, sorry, not the mayor, I want to say mayor, the Phantom has kidnapped Christine's daughter. He didn't kidnap her per se by just grabbing her and saying, come with me and you're not going anywhere. No, what happened is he leaves her with a note. She gets the note, opens it up, and that's where the game starts. And she goes to the opera house, and she has to try to free herself from the Phantom's clutches, who believes she's Christine. She's not, but he believes she is, because she looks so much like her. And the game progresses from there. Uh, basically, if you want me to give it away to you, I can't. Basically, the Phantom keeps Christine's daughter with him, despite all of her solving all these various puzzles. And that's kind of sad, but it's kind of glad that the ma the Phantom, I keep wanting to say mayor for some reason, the Phantom has someone to love, finally. It's just tragic that he has to take Christine's daughter and believing that she's Christine and won't let her go. Um, also, in the Sims games, I have most of the expansion packs, like I explained. I am currently, because I have the expansion packs, I'm on Sims 2 free time. And basically, in the game, I have a family right now. Uh, it started out based on the Family Ties television series. And basically, it started out with the mom, the dad, and the four children. Well, I had the oldest boy, Alex, move out with his sisters. And also I had his girlfriend, who is actually African American, move out and they have a house of their own. Now, Jennifer and Mallory have moved out. And now it is Alex, his wife, his daughter, and his twin sons. So, so far, the and their kitten. I can't forget their kitten. Kitten's name is Cuddles. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, basically, if you like adventure where you can rule and control people's lives, The Sims is a fun game. Uh, the Sims 3 is somewhat different. You still control people's lives, but there's not nearly enough expansion packs. They just recently came out with Sims 3 Pets which I have not started yet. But the Sims 3 pets, as you can see on the cover, they look more realistic. With the Sims 2 pets, which I have here, the pets do look realistic, but with the Sims 3, you can do more with them. I mean, you can... There's horses. The first time ever in Sims history, there's a horse. Um, so they're very similar, but like I said, this one has horses, this one doesn't. Um, going back to Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes. This was the first game where I got most of the stars. I got 11 out of 12 stars. There's 12 stars that you can win but with the special bonus one you can get a 13th one called cover portal where you follow all the latest breaking news this is a strategy guide that i bought to basically tell me the awards that's the reason why i bought it and i wanted to get it with this bonus feature to see if there was anything interesting in it basically the strategy guide basically tells you 
how to solve the puzzle. So basically, I didn't need this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with the Back to the Future games, there was no strategy guide that I could follow at first until I started playing it. Then I looked further, and there was more walkthroughs. I mean, basically, everybody knows the characters of Marty and Doc. Well, there's newer characters. Edlin, Edna, sorry, Edna, Edna Strickland. She apparently is the mother of Principal Stri Vice Principal Strickland. And so we meet up with her, and we also meet Biff and Biff's father. We finally meet Biff's father. We don't meet Biff's mother, but we do know his father, finally. And we also meet Marty's grandmother and grandfather. So that's interesting. Um, I have videos that I've been putting up just today of the Taylor Swift concert that I attended in August. So, and I also have videos that I'm working on of my poems and songs. I mean, I have a huge notebook full of stuff that I need to type up, write up, and put into video mode and other modes. Um, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to ask me, put it in the comment box down below, and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, if you need any help with, say, this game, Nancy Drew Alibi and Ashes, I can help you with that. If you need any help with your Sims for games, I can try to help you with that. Uh, with Back to the Future games, I can try to help you out with that, too. So, and if you just want to ask me a question, send it down below, I'll answer, and here we go. So you guys have a great day, and I will chat back later. Bye-bye now.